Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a problem that has to do with area and perimeter of a trapezoid uh, and then talking about scale factor. So this is something that is coming from um, CPM's uh, Math 2 and this is uh, section 9.1.4 uh, specifically number 9-47 says, use what you know about similar figures to complete the following tasks. First of all, A says, what are the area and perimeter of the trapezoid, right? So to find area, remember area of a, of a trapezoid, there's a couple things we could do. We could try to cut this up into two triangles. And then from those two triangles, uh, add the area of those two triangles and then also add the area of the um, rectangle. That's one way to find the area of a, of a trapezoid. The other way is there's an actual area formula for a trapezoid. So we'll, we'll look at that. So the area of a trapezoid is always taking um, the height, okay, the height times the two bases. So we'll call it base one plus base two. And I'll explain where those are in uh, this figure. Then once I have those, that math done, then I divide by two. Okay. So, or it may be known as one half height times base one plus base two. That's the, the short version of the formula. Okay. So what are the, what are the, what's the height? What's the basis? So the height is the perpendicular line that connects the two bases, right? So again, so then what are the bases? Either one of these is base one, base two. So it's the parallel lines of the bases, okay? So the parallel lines, the parallel sides of the bases, and the height is the one that's perpendicular to it. So the math for that would be area is equal to the height, which is four times each of these bases. So it's eight plus 13. And then once I've got that, then I divide by two. So we'll go four times eight plus 13, do that first, what's in the parentheses, and still divide by two here. So that would be uh, 84 divided by two, which would be 42. So the area is 42 square units, and we would say units squared or squared units, okay? Now perimeter, perimeter is just distance around. Right. If I'm if I'm trying to add the perimeter here, the perimeter of this would just be adding all the sides. OK, now the issue becomes is I don't know what one of these sides are here. This side here doesn't have it listed. So I've got to I've got to determine what that would be. Well, what I can do is I can look at this as a triangle over here because I know that's four. And if from here to here is eight, there to there is eight as well. Um, uh, and then what else do I know? I know uh, if that's eight, I can make uh, kind of an assumption here that looks like these are similar triangles um, based on what I'm, the information I'm given. So I would say that this would be a four, that would be a five then if that's the case, right? Because they would be equivalent. So we'll say those are fives. Based on the information given, that's what I'm gonna have to say that we have here. So perimeter, add all the sides up, would be eight plus five plus 13 plus five. I don't add the, the height. I don't add the four and the four, just the outside is perimeter. So that gives me um, 31, and that would be units, okay? So there's my perimeter. So then the next question says, uh, what are the area and perimeter of a trapezoid that is similar to this one, but reduced by a scale factor of one third? So in other words, I've got this, per, this, let me do that. I'll just redraw it. This trapezoid here, that has those lengths listed. So it's reduced by a scale factor of one third. So in other words, it's one third smaller. Each of the lengths are one third smaller. 
So this length here, it'd be one third of eight, because that's the scale factor. One third of 13, one third of five, right? So everything is one third. Instead of doing each individually by one third, what we can do is just take one third of the perimeter. So if you have a scale factor of one third, then the perimeter of the smaller figure is one third of my initial answer, which was 31. So one third of 31 is 31 over three or 10 and one third units. Now the area though, that's different because area is scale factor squared, right? Area scale factor is the scale factor, but squared because you have square units. So the area scale factor is one ninth. So for that, then we would take the original area, which the original area was 42. And we're, oops, and we're going to multiply 42 times one ninth. So the new area would be one ninth of 42. So that would be uh, 42 over 9, or we can simplify that. Let's see, that would be 21 thirds or uh, 7? No, I did something wrong there. Oh, sorry, I get my math there wrong. So 3, I'm dividing top and bottom by 3 here, simplifying this. That is uh, uh, 14 thirds or... Um, four and two thirds, All right? So and that's a unit squared. So there's the area and perimeter of the similar figure with a scale factor of one third.